Preceding the interview, you will shake Kim's hand with a fatal dose of poison. It is critical that you touch nothing. <laughs> I think there's a zero percent chance of this working. <laughs> North Texas Theater signing on now to show the interview starting on Christmas Day. It's off, it's on, it's back on. Jeff Paul, Live Force and Richardson tonight with how the Alamo Draft House is also addressing the lingering threats that go with the showing of this movie. Jeff? Well, Doug, if you were hoping to see this movie, the interview here at the Alamo Draft House, take a look here. The showings, all of them on Christmas Day, are sold out. We'll tell you in a moment where you can get tickets, but first, many of the moviegoers we spoke with out here tonight saying with these recent threats made to those who are gonna be seeing this movie, wondering if this is all just a recipe for trouble, liability. This particular showtime is sold out. Saying there's excitement over the interview. Yeah, we're getting a lot of calls. Is a huge understatement. We're sold out for Thursday. It's downright crazy. Somebody grabbed the two seats. It's why moviegoers like Dallas resident Drew Mahalik didn't take any chances. I was seeing they're selling out pretty quickly, so I thought, you know, I might as well strike while the iron's hot. Mahalik is one of the many who snatched up tickets at the Alamo Draft House in Richardson after Sony Pictures announced the show would go on. Go! The movie mocks North Korea's Kim Jong-un. It was originally pulled after hackers anonymously made threats if it ever hit the screen. We're just not worried about it. We're, we're doing what we do. Manager James Wallace does say the Alibo Draft House is taking precautions and are in contact with Richardson police. But is that enough to sidestep fault if something were to happen? I don't think that anybody should go to this movie on Christmas Day thinking that they're setting themselves up for a good lawsuit against the theater. Lawyer Chris Hamilton expects the theater to have extra security. As long as the theater takes reasonable precautions, I think the likelihood of liability for the theater is very low. Hamilton says the same goes for Sony Pictures, which is protected heavily by the First Amendment. Two. Two. Okay. As for our moviegoer, Drew Mahalik. North Korea is a pretty long way, way off, and I don't, think, uh, I don't think I'll be very worried about it. Now, while the tickets here at the Alamo Draft House are sold out, we did call a few other theaters in our area that still have tickets, but they tell us they are going fast. So if you're trying to see that movie, jump on those tickets. Now, all that information can be found on our website, cbsdfw.com. For now, we are live in Richardson. I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. Jeff, thanks. Hey, do you think the Alamo Draft House should be held liable if something went crazy here and something were to happen during a showing of the interview? So far, in our poll we've had through the evening, 87% of you say, no, no way. 13% said, yep, think we should. You can sound off anytime. Head to cbsdfw.com slash poll. You can vote there. You can also tweet or text us your answer as well. Just use hashtag yes or hashtag no. Quick break.